Hello everyone, my name is Rob and I'm a postdoctoral scientist based in Vienna, Austria. In this video I tested the heart rate accuracy of the Fitbit Sense and I found it has some very specific problems. I compared the Fitbit Sense against this Polar H10 chest strap, which is generally considered to be one of the most accurate consumer devices available for heart rate tracking. As always, I don't want to waste your time, so timestamps are in the description below and also on the timeline. To test the heart rate accuracy of the Sense, I wore it and the Polar H10 chest strap for three sessions on my spinning bike and for three weightlifting sessions. To analyze it, I extracted the raw heartbeat to heartbeat data from the Polar H10 and I downloaded my raw Fitbit data. And finally, I wrote some nerd code to compare the two. Now, let's have a look at the results. So here I plotted my heart rate according to the Polar H10 on the horizontal axis and according to the Fitbit Sense on the vertical axis. And each dot here is a single heart rate measurement. Now, if the two would agree perfectly, then all measurements would be along this blue line here. And this red line here indicates those values where the heart rate according to the Fitbit Sense is about half that of the Polar H10. I show this line because in a recent test I did of the Withing scan watch, I saw that sometimes it displayed half the values it should be and I wanted to see if this was also the case for the sense. We can roughly divide the heart rates here into three parts. On the bottom we have the low heart rates, in the middle the medium heart rate which were mainly achieved during weightlifting and on top the higher heart rates which were mainly achieved during cardio workouts. Now as you can see in the lower range it's performing quite well, most points are nicely along the blue line. In the medium heart range we can already see quite a few points where the Fitbit is detecting too low a heart rate and especially in this higher heart rate range around a heart rate of 170 there's quite some points where the Fitbit detects too low a heart rate. Now it's definitely not quite as bad as what we saw previously for the Withing scan watch where a lot of the heart rate measurements were half of what they should be especially in this higher heart rate range but still there's some deviation here so let's see what's going on. So here I've plotted my heart rate for one of my spinning sessions. In red we have the heart rate according to the Fitbit Sense and in blue we have the heart rate according to the Polar H10. And we can see that this workout lasted for about 45 minutes and I divided the spinning session into four parts where I took breaks in between and you can see my heart rate rise each time. The first thing you will notice is that the heart rate according to the Fitbit Sense lags a bit behind the heart rate of the Polar H10. As I start my workout, the Polar H10 detects my heart rate rising, but there's definitely a lag of the Fitbit Sense where it lags behind the heart rate of the Polar H10. And you can see this for the first part of the workout, the second part and the fourth part. It's not as obvious, but still present for the third part. Now let's see if this is also true for other spinning sessions. So here we have another spinning session, the same type of plot, where for the first part of this training session we do not see this lag, but we do see it for the second, third and fourth part, where my heart rate is already clearly rising, but the Fitbit Sense does not detect this yet. Now initially I thought maybe the Fitbit calculates your heart rate over a longer time period and that's why it takes longer for this heart rate to rise because it takes the average of also the heart rate I had before. But you can see in the drop of my heart rate the Fitbit really matches well with the Polar H10. So this is not the case and it's clearly a detection issue with sudden increases in heart rate. And this is consistent also for the third spinning session that I did where you can clearly see that as my heart rate rises there's a lag in the heart rate detection of the Fitbit but the moment that my heart rate drops it's correct again. Now let's also have a look at my weightlifting sessions. Here I've plotted my heart rate for one of my weightlifting sessions and again my heart rate is in cyan or blue for the Polar H10 and in red for the Fitbit Sense. And as you can see each time I did one set the Polar H10 detected my increase in heart rate but the Fitbit does not detect it, so it detects this lower heart rate, so the general pattern of my heart rate changes over time, but not these spikes. So again, it appears to have difficulty with sudden increases in heart rate. But let's have a look at some other workout sessions. And again, you see for each set, my heart rate increased according to the Polar H10, which should be correct, but the Fitbit is not able to detect this increase in heart rate. Now let's look at the final weightlifting session. So again, it appears to be able to detect slow increases in heart rate, where for this second part of my workout, my heart rate was a bit higher than for this first part. 
but it appears to have difficulty with sudden increases but not decreases in heart rate. And this appears to be true for both medium increases in heart rate, as we see here for my weightlifting sessions, but also for high increases in heart rate, as we saw for my spinning sessions. I'm personally very interested to know why the sense has trouble detecting increases in heart rate, but not decreases in heart rate. Well, to answer those questions, we first need to know if this is a hardware issue or a software issue. Since the sense is eventually able to detect an increase in heart rate and it can immediately detect a decrease in heart rate, I suspect it's more a software issue than a hardware issue. I could, for instance, imagine a scenario where the algorithm that calculates your heart rate knows that it's much more likely for you to have a sudden drop in heart rate when you're at a really high heart rate versus having a sudden increase in heart rate when you're at your normal baseline heart rate. Maybe this is a way for the Fitbit algorithm to prevent false heart rate spikes throughout the day. However, this is pure speculation and it could be something completely different. Finally, should these heart rate detection issues prevent you from buying a Fitbit Sense? Well, I guess it depends totally on your use case. If you want accurate heart rate tracking through interval training or maybe weightlifting, then the Fitbit Sense is probably not the way to go. If you want heart rate tracking for longer endurance training or maybe the occasional heart rate monitoring, then the Fitbit Sense might be good enough. And of course, the Fitbit Sense packs a lot of other features that might be of interest to you. Compared to other wrist-worn devices that I've tested and used in the past, the heart rate accuracy of the Fitbit Sense falls somewhere in the middle. It's much more accurate than, for instance, the Withings Scam Watch that I recently tested, but I also have a TomTom -tom device that is much better than the Fitbit Sense. In my videos, I do scientific tests on different devices like the Aura Ring, the Fitbit, and the Scan Watch, and in the end, I hope to use tracking to improve my life. So if you like that subject and like this video, consider subscribing to my channel and also consider giving it a thumbs up because it makes it easier for other people to find my videos. For now, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.